Hey everybody. Today what we're going to discuss is this thing next to me. It's a 42 inch Groundworks sweeper. It has a little bit of a problem you'll see in the video and then following behind this you're going to see what also was handed to me in the basket. Anyways, remember if you've got equipment at your house or if you want to do something for a family, friend, or anybody, you can do it. Just believe in yourself and make it happen. Alright, let's get started with the video, shall we? Alright everybody, today's what we're going to work on is this. It's the Groundworks 42 inch sweeper. When you're going ahead and you're going like this and you notice that your brushes are hardly moving, well then you know you've got a gear problem. So, let's get in here, shall we? Take out the nut on the back. Pop it out. So we can get to the Mr. Bolt. Put that down there. Now you'll notice you got a cover piece. Take out the upper and lower screw of the cover piece. Put said B hardware down there. Okay. And lo and behold, cover piece. Remember, this was on the inside. Well, you can look. Hmm. Looks like the gears are pretty much trashed. This thing ain't well taken care of. The people that have it don't take care of it. They don't do maintenance or anything on it. So, you can go ahead and say, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and replace my gear. This will be it. There's also another spot. This right here. The reason why is I'll show you. There's two things with this. It's a simple setup, simple gear, but what you have to do is always come in here and take a look. And then see if somebody's been in here before you that wasn't the manufacturer. Notice I don't have a bushing that should be sitting there, or a washer. And then you got your washers. We'll leave those. This is the pin. See that pin? Okay. That goes inside here and that lets you, it slides down so that when you're going forward it'll pull and then when you go in reverse, yeah. <clears throat> when you go in reverse what happens is, is it'll go up in the cove so that you can go backwards in it and it won't cause the brush to spin and keep spinning stuff out. But the pen, it's worn but it's not entirely too bad. They should be about three quarters of an inch long with a quarter inch. So let's check it out, shall we? Okay. This is an after action report. If you notice it's still a part, I went back and through and I double checked something that I'd, you seen previously. Now, what we're gonna do is, this is the inside, you'll see a nice picture. If you see any indentions that are more than, let's say, an eighth of an inch where they start showing where the pen is damaging it, throw it away. But if you can, make you a new pen. It'll fit in there. Quarter inch stock, steel. And then just make it about three quarters, maybe a little bit more. And it'll fit perfect in there. The problem was, is then you seen previously it was catching and not catching. Well, I found the reason why. So let's go ahead and put this on here and get the snap ring back on there, or C clip, or whatever else everybody calls them. <clears throat> okay. Now notice how it stays in contact, and what it was two things. Inside here was dirty where the pen went. The other part was the pen was a little bit too short. So, oops. Let's go ahead and get this back up and running. And then I can get rid of this thing out of my yard. So anyways, enough ranting. So basically just put the cap back on. Tighten that up. I did lube the shaft a little bit. I did the same thing on the other one. And then 
you go back and line it back up and then when you line it back up it's going to take a little bit of finagling because I'll explain in a second the problem it's not really a problem it's just how it is okay there And presto change over. We're back up and running. Uh, tighten this up a little bit. And let's see what exactly happens. I, bet I can already tell you this thing has beat to hell. See, look at that. No slipping no more, no catching. And that's what it's supposed to be. So, <clears throat> what we found was the main wheel gear was part of the problem. The second problem was the cog on the inside, the pin couldn't really float freely or it was that tapered edge. And after a while it does that. So then what you can do is take regular quarter inch steel rod, cut it to where you want it, like I said, three quarters of an inch long is perfect. And then go in, clean that inside out, lube it up, and you're back up and running. Now all I'm gonna do is put the basket back on, call the guy, tell him to come get his stuff, and another project. But just remember, these are interchangeable, so if you get them either side, your biggest problem when you go to assembly and putting them in these wheels is gonna be here. Don't worry, you can work them in there. If you want, put a little bit of Vaseline or something around here so it'll slide in and out easier. But you'll see how, I don't know if you can see it, but after a while, they get the indention of the wheel. For some reason, the wheel is actually stronger than the plastic, but that's cool. But that's it in a nutshell. Um, we'll see if I see this again for another thing. Things to remember. Okay, when you got this, Put it up on a platform like this don't try to do it on the ground it is a pain if you can put it up in there where it can be supported like this this is perfect because what's going to happen is when you go through the bolt here and this carriage assembly will rotate it's a pain trying to get that bolt to come into the actual base now on the other side where the handle is you got to joshle it and work it around a little bit but you can get it done but it's just tedious on that side because you've got the leverage controller over there for the height all right, um, this is Trav. If you got any questions or anything, just let me know. And it's another satisfied project. Hey everybody, today what we're gonna have is this, a nice little street sweeper from Groundworks, okay? But I just wanted to show you what, I've, this is what usually gets dropped off in my house. Do we notice anything that could possibly be wrong here? Like maybe this needs to be inside there, or this needs to be inside there, and this tube, this tube needs to be in there. They were always complaining that grass was always getting still. They weren't collecting the whole amount of grass. So before we go in and actually fix the gears, and I do that part of the video, let's go ahead and fix this. All right, it only took about 10 minutes. Take that off, slide the guide back in, collapse the canopy so that you can put this piece right back in here. I'll put the rod in in a second. It connects to another, the main thing, so I'm gonna leave it disconnected for right now. But anyways, make sure you follow instructions when you build these things. If not, ask somebody who has. Talk to you later.